Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. We're again looking at Elite Dangerous and, and today we're going to talk a little bit about mining. I found mining to be one of the um, more profitable ways to make money in the game and compared to other games it is not as boring as you would think. But first, before we go out and, uh, and start mining, we need to look at um, the ship and the outfitting. What I did was I used my Sidewinder to trade fly back and forth between station buying and selling stuff until I have enough money to buy myself a hauler. Um, if we go into the outfitting of this hauler, we can see that initially the hard point has been um, replaced, or the standard laser has been replaced with a mining laser. We of course need this mining laser in order to actually mine the rocks. Um, but the more interesting part is in the internal compartments. We can see I fitted two cargo racks with a capacity of 8 each, giving us a total cargo capacity of eight units, uh, 16 units. Sorry. But the interesting part here is the refinery. You need the refinery in order to reprocess the ore that you are mining. Um, so let's go have a look at, um, at this. It's, I used the class 2 slot for the refinery, um, but you could use uh, one of the others if you want. But the larger the, the class, the better. So. This refinery has two stats that's important when you look at it. It has the class and the rating. Um, the class is the size of the refinery. Um, generally, you want a refinery that fits in the class slot you are actually trying to fit. So we're looking at a, a class 2 sh slot here, so we want a class 2 refinery. The rating tells you something about how good the refinery is. Um, more specifically, the number of refinery bins. We'll get into more details with the refinery bins later, but um, the refinery bins are uh, the number of different materials or ore you can store at the refinery at one time. So the ratings go from I think E up till up to A being the best. So let's see if we can find the refinery I have right now, right here. So this is a class two rating D refinery. It has three refinery bins. Um, but we could just as well, I could go down here, here's a um, class 2 C, um, it has four refinery bins, um, so this would definitely be better, but it is quite a bit more expensive, you see this is 113,000, the one I have um, is only uh, 37,000, and we could go all the way down to class 2 a somewhere down here, I guess. We, we don't have nearly enough money, so we can get five bins, and we find the class 2A refinery. 2A here, six bins. We get all the way up to six bins. But again, these are very, very expensive. Um, so you just, just go with as good a refinery as possible. Um, go for one that fits your... Um, the class slot you're using and then just go for a good as good a rating as you want um, and then of course ensure that you have at least some cargo space the more cargo space the less trips back and forth between the station and the micro mining fields you have to do anyway talking about mining fields there are in general two places you can mine um, as far as I know again I'm pretty new to the game um, we open up the system map here um, you can mine the asteroid belts, but you can also mine the rings around the planets. So in this system I'm in right, in right now, we have two asteroid belts. And we can see up here the, uh, the type, it's uh, metal rich, and it's a pristine reserve. So this is actually not a bad asteroid belt to be mining. Um, but generally what I've, what I've heard is that you want to go for the rings around the planets. Um, and what's interesting is the um, the metallic ore. So, for instance, this planet we can see down here it has a metal-rich ring. Not bad. I think they go from uh, icy, or icy, yeah, being the uh, purest quality of rings, to uh, rocky, to metal-rich, and the best one is metallic. So, ideally, you want a metallic ring, and this system has a planet, so the fourth planet here, has two rings, it has a metallic and a rocky ring. And we of course want to mine the metallic ring. Um, 
I'll put a link, uh, I'll put a list in the description actually with all the systems I've been able to uh, to find where they have planets with metallic rings of the planets with metallic rings. So you can just go ahead, look at the list in the description, find the system nearest to you, um, and simply just go there. Um, if you don't know how to find the system, you go on into the galaxy map, go to navigation, type the system you want. First, for instance, if you want to find uh, our solar system, that would be Sol. And it will find it, and then I can go, um, and I could plot a route if I wanted to, um, if it was in space, I guess, um, on a ship that actually could go there. I'm not sure why I can't, but anyway, find the system um, from the list that has metallic rings, um, and go there and mine. So, a lot of the mining is really about prospecting. It's all about finding these good ores. And I've done a lot of the work by already showing you a list um, in the description where you can actually find the um, the planets with the uh, with the metallic rings. So, if we go ahead um, and go set the destination for the fourth planet, that was the planet with the metallic ring, and um, let's go ahead and launch the ship. Good, so here we are, we are in space and we are aligned towards the planet and we just left to mass lock. So let's go ahead and drive charging. start the jump. First thing we'll notice, uh, notice is we want to mine at the daylight side of the planet. So right away we can see that in this case the left side of the planet for our, from our point of view is the daylight side. So we're gonna go for the left side. We of course want to be mining in the rings, so we're gonna turn our ship a bit to the left to get to the rings. Slow down, we don't want to overshoot. Once um, you approach the planet, you will notice that the rings have different colors. This both have a rocky and a metal or metallic ring. So the rocky wing rings are the, the broad one, the outer uh, brownish color. And you can see this thin inner ring that has this grayish color, that's the metallic ring, that's where you want to go. So again, aiming for the daylight side, and just aiming for a spot in the ring right now. As you get closer, you want to slow down, um, and eventually slow down completely. There we are. And then just slowly dive into um, to the ring and the ship will automatically exit the jump once you get too close. There we are. So let's get inside this belt and um, let's start mining. Now even though we are in a metallic um, part of the ring, not all the rocks might be um, good enough to actually make any real profit out of it. You will make profit, but you will pretty much waste your time if you just go to a random rock. So again, we need to prospect. We need to find the rocks with the right materials. Um, and how you do that is first we press U to open up the deploy the mining laser. I suggest once you um, as long as you move around, you have all your energy moved to the engines. Um, you can press the home button to open the cargo scoop. I suggest you do that cargo right away. Deployed. Like that. And then we simply just fly up to a rock. Let's take this rock right in, uh, in front of us here. And again, we're going to aim for the daylight side of the rock, just because it's prettier. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and stop the ship. Good. So now we just uh, go ahead and uh, turn on our, our, our mining laser, start cutting. And as you cut, you hear this rumbling sound and you see a small target. If we press T to target it. You see, we can target this small fragment of rock that came out of, um, of this stone. And this is a galleite um, and brentite. I don't know how that's pronounced. But anyway, 
Um, I'll put up a, as you can see on the list here on the screen. Um, Galaite has a uh, average um, galaxy a uh, galaxy average value uh, of around two thousand one hundred. Um, and the other material has almost two thousand seven hundred. This is not um, as good uh, as it could be, so we're going to leave this rock. Um, and as good hint that uh, that I got was once you're moving between rocks, head towards the planet um, to make sure that you're not circling around. So we're gonna pick ourselves a new rock, try to find something a bit more interesting. Oh, golden indite. Okay, so as we can see here, I'll pull up the list again. Um, gold is almost 10,000 per um, per unit, and you, as you can see, hold on, stop here. In the lower lower left corner, you can see that this is a uh, 25% gold and 10% indite. Again, the um, the gold is what we are after here. So the 25% means that this rock, this small fragment, contains 25% of one unit of gold, which is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and pick this up. As you can see, I've targeted the, the fragment, um, and next to my radar I have this blue square. This is um, my alignment marker for my cargo scoop that we opened earlier, using the home button on your keyboard. So you can close it. We opened my cargo scoop. So it's all about, as you approach, gonna approach this very slowly, around 5 meters a second is pretty good, I guess. You have to make sure that you keep the rock at the center, of the um, cargo scoop alignment marker. Once you get close enough. There you go. And we can pick up the resource. Now the resource has been moved to a refinery. The refinery is out here to your right. If you go to the cargo tab, you can see we have gold and indite up here. And this is where the cargo bins come into play. So we can say, okay, let's just um, keep the gold. So it's refined and keep the indite. So now the cargo scoop is empty and we see that we have 25% gold and 10% indite. When, when it reaches 100%, one of them, you will get one unit of, um, of that material. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, I've moved around the rock such that I am aligned with the axis of rotation. Such that I have a point beneath me, or if right in front of me. Um, that does not move as the rock rotates. So we're just gonna... Whoa! What the hell happened? Okay. Nice. Okay. Graphic box. Anyway. Let's go ahead and mine this. Uh, so see, I can keep still and my laser almost um, is not gonna move across the surface. I'm just gonna uh, gonna let it put out a few of these um, small rock fragments. That's three. Let's just get one more. There we go. Okay, so you can see all the fragments as white dots on our radar. So we're going in and select the first one, and slowly move towards it. To pick it up, keeping it aligned with the cargo scoop. Slowing to around 5 meters a second as we get close. We got it. And see if we can find the next one. There it is. Slowly move towards it. Pick it up. There's one. Again, you can see them on the radar. Um, I'm using the radar to, uh, to see where the fragments are. And again, let's pick this up. Oh, 
Where is it? There it is. Targeted. Okay, so it says resource unallocated. So let's go over and have a look. So as you can see, we got one unit of gold. And that's because the, our total gold um, in our refinery reached 100%. So let's go ahead and select this to add it to one of the refinery bins. We can then go go back out and we can keep on scooping in rocks. Okay, here we are. So I managed to find uh, um, a few rocks and, and I come across a situation like this. You will most likely get into a situation like this at, at some point when mining. You see, you already have a bin with the uh, half filled with gold. Um, not too far to actually eject that. Then I have a bin almost full with platinum. Definitely don't want to um, to lose that. But right now I got a rock that has uh, platinum. Um, and we definitely want the platinum, as you can see on the, the list. Uh, I'll put the full list with the average galaxy prices on all the minerals and all the metals in the video description, as you can see. Um, also shown here on screen. You can see that platinum has an average price price of almost 19,000 credits. So we definitely want this. So what I would do in this case, was I would simply go ahead and jettison this because it has almost no value. Um, like that. And then allocate the platinum. This means that each time we pick up a fragment, we have to jettison the excess material because now all our bins are full. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show this to you. So if we um, go ahead and mine a few fragments here. And see these are pretty good. This is 32% platinum. Oh, I need to put power to my systems, sorry. This is a very good rock. Ah, oh, that hit it off in the other direction, of course. Okay, we got three of them, that should be enough. So, um, I'll just go ahead and pick up this fragment. Keeping it aligned with this cargo scoop. There we go. So, as you can see over here, it already says that the platinum is refined. Um, and we have this access material, and we're just going to vent that. Um, like that. And we're ready to pick up our next, next fragment. Okay, here we are. As you can see here, our cargo hold is full. And even one of our recycling bins are full as well. Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, set the destination for the station. And we are going to close the cargo scoop and begin to move out of the belt. And as soon as we are outside the, as soon as we are outside the mass lock, we'll just go ahead and walk back to the station. Okay, here we are, back in the station. So let's uh, go ahead and open the Starport services. We're going to go to the commodity market and scroll down to the metals. Here we go. And simply just sell. So right now we are at have a balance of 285. Let's see what we get. Selling our gold. And as you can see we got one more gold. That was the one in the bin. Sell that as well. Oh, and we also have two of those. So, almost 200,000 credits for that one haul. I think that's um, that's pretty good. And now, if you want, you can simply just um, go back out there, fill up your cargo hold again, and get back. Um, that pretty much sums up this uh, small mining guide. Um, I find mining a very, very uh, fast way to make money. Uh, at least in the early game. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out in the late game. But um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. This is Down to Earth Astronomy. Have a good one.